Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Listen, I have to share this moment with you all. Guys, I was just accused of being a witch. A witch. So, you know, I have my comments uh, and things like that, and they're pre approved. But I got an email, and basically, the person, not an email, it's a, a comment. And the person is accusing me of being a witch. They accuse me of doing hand gestures that's um, consistent with a cult and being a witch. They accuse me of the colors of my shirt that was occultic. Um, according to them, they accuse me of using occult music for my background. And, you know, at first, as usual, because I have pre-approval uh basically i don't you know i'm very very tenacious in what is on this platform and at first i was going to just delete it and the lord laid it on my heart no he showed me how to respond so if you guys want to see it it is actually in my um <clears throat> the one that i had as a prophetic word that spoke about the spirit of vashti and the spirit of jezebel so this is a thing guys that i want to tell you and i want you to look at that response if you would like to and because it's very i don't want you going to attack the lady okay but look at the response and realize this is how we respond to things like that that is the whole reason why i was allowed to share this with you all and to show you something the shameful and sad thing about believers in christ is that we are our biggest nemesis. If you feel like your brother and sister is doing something in error or something you don't understand, rather than just attacking them, rather than just coming against them, rather than calling them names that are not even what they're doing, I, I'm not even trying to prove who I am. You know, I, <laughs> listen, we need to stop doing this thing as believers where we sit there and we attack one another. We need to learn to come together to understand, to have a conversation, to see where someone's heart is. And then also, in addition to that, to know that, you know what? We don't approach people to beat them down and to discourage them and to say awful things to them. If I was not a stronger person, I would have been deterred and whatever, you know, and it took me a while. Thank God I've been praying. I looked at that stuff and rather than just going back at her, I was like, Lord, what do you want me to say? Because my first thing was click to just get to just block it. But the Lord is like, no, you need to respond. And there's a lesson to be learned in it. So let me tell you something, believers, those of you who call yourself Christians and say you're followers of the Lord, stop it with this thing where you're bashing people, you're knocking them, you're saying things. This goes into exactly what I've told you guys in my other videos, that there are commentators in your life and it's important to speak life into your life every morning, every evening, because she accused me of being a witch. She called me a witch. She called me all these things. And I countered that with the word of God. Oh no, I am a child of the King. I'm a child of the most high God. This is who I am. You understand that? Because there are people who do those same things in other environments. You could be doing your videos. You could just be living your life. You may not do videos. But people, especially believers, I'm sorry, other believers, if you're doing something that they don't understand, they don't agree with, it's not in the context that they think is correct, they will sit there and speak things about you and accuse you of these things. So let me tell you, I put this out in the open because if I was a witch, then I'd be trying to hide it, right? But I put this out here, guys, to tell you this. As believers, we need to stop that nonsense. We need to stop doing things like that where we just go onto someone's platform or go into someone's space and because it's not what you think it's God, you accuse and you insult. You understand? We need to be led by the Spirit of God. And, and, and again, you just speak to someone with respect and not accusing. So as I said, I responded back and I'm, I'm just, you know, I had to, because the words that were spoken, no, there needs to be, uh, the word of God, a declaration of who God is and who I am in Christ 
on that same platform. Now, certain things, you just block it, delete, which I've done in the past. But this right here, oh no, we do not allow certain things to come in where words of negativity are spoken against you. You need to be vigilant. You need to be steadfast in the things of God. Don't let people look on you on the outside. That's the problem. The word of God talks about it all the time. People look at people on the outer appearance. People didn't think that Paul uh, Saul formerly Saul and now Paul they don't think they didn't think that he was really worthy because he was a killer of Christians you understand that God used who Rahab the harlot and she became a part of the lineage of Christ God could use what you consider to be unclean in your heart to you based on your eyes because guess what? The thing about the Lord is he sees beyond the outsides and he sees the heart. And that is what we need to do as believers and to be mindful and discerning of the things that just comes out of your mouth based on what? What you see, what you see, what you see. Because you see, that was not the spirit of God and that was not discernment because that does not line up with the characteristics of the spirit. God can speak truth, but it's not about embarrassing or trying to insult people or accusing people because I know who I am in Jesus Christ. So guys, let me tell you something. When people come at you, you need to stand up for who you are and speak God's word in the place of what they try to say is in the negativity that they try to put out in the air in your life. I do not accept the words of being a witch. I do not accept the word of being some kind of a sorcerer. I am a child of the most high God. I serve the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. I stand up on his word. I am covered under the precious blood of Jesus. Every window, every door, every post in my life, my children, my children's children, my every Everything, my family, those around me, my mother, my father, in the name of Jesus is covered under the blood of Jesus. Do not let people judge you in clothes and in meat and in drink all these things because by these things men use these things but guess what they do all these things but it doesn't help with the works of the flesh and the works of the flesh is what was manifest in this message that was sent to me. Accusation contentions, nastiness, strife. That is not God. God always spoke truth, but didn't need to insult anybody. So guys, I'm about to get off here. You have a wonderful weekend. Um, again, listen up. Let's stop destroying one another. If you don't understand something, then you need to pray and ask God for discernment because he'll show you the heart of that person. And then he'll also show you how to approach without trying to accuse and to destroy people. All right, guys. So don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Bye.